I had to pretend that the panel were one undergraduate student and that the undergraduate student had come to see me um, for advice about what to study for this particular course. That, that was quite difficult because obviously they're not and it's, what was difficult was to know how much I was expected to really treat them as if they were students and how much I was expected to engage with them at their level. Often they would ask you to, to do sample lessons of language lessons or literature lessons of 15 minutes and to begin with I thought I could just do a slice of a lesson so I would imagine a lesson that would be for to know 50 minutes or an hour and then I would just present the beginning of it. In one case I wasn't selected for the job and then I called them asking why is it and the person was quite helpful saying look one of the reasons is that you didn't finish what you were saying and I thought well because it's just 15 minutes I never thought then I, I've learned from that now from experience that even if they ask for 10 minutes you have to you should present a 10 minutes that is or has already a beginning a middle and an end so that people don't have this frustrating experience of having something interrupted one thing that I found difficult about the presentation was that it was me talking for 10 minutes and if I had a student, if that was a real life situation, I had a student with me, I would never talk at them for 10 minutes, ever. So I'd strongly uh, suggest that you do handouts which show the whole thing. Um, and then what you do in the presentation shows how part of it would go. I think the most impressive presentations are when people are utterly in command of their material. Um, the best way to show that you're in command of your material is is to simply stand up as if you were giving a lecture and talk to, to the group. The presentation, I think it went fairly well. It was just to the interview panel, so it was just to about five or six people. So I decided not to do any big PowerPoint presentation. I just went for a handout. And then I took the one of the one of the parts of the thesis of my thesis which I thought was one of the strongest and which also fit in quite well with the interests of the research project. Personally, I think uh, it's, it's a bad thing to rely on anything other than yourself uh, in an interview situation. It's important uh, to avoid any technical support that is likely to let you down or might let you down. If you want support, paper is good. Handouts, something simple that, um, uh, you can, th that won't fail you. When people ask you questions about your research, if you give a, a presentation on your research, um, don't make the questioner feel stupid. So, people like uh, people like a research presentation when they feel that their question was recognised and taken seriously, and um, and, and everyone is like this. You obviously, try to 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 choose something that you really feel enthusiastic and and uh, you really care for because I think it's important that you because you probably, if you're enthusiastic about it, it will, will kind of help your presentation, make it sort of more interesting.